Hey, what is going on guys? So you've seen the unboxing of the launcher. Now we're going to be taking a look at the Korobukiya Megami Device Bullet Knights Lancer. So this is number 11 in the Megami Device line. So pretty much going to be very similar to the launcher. But in this case, the shield is on the opposite side. And instead of a giant cannon, it's got a giant lance. The color is different too. This one's white instead of the dark color scheme. The other one has got different kind of face and hair. But still very similar. They're meant to kind of go together. I don't think there's any photo of them together on the outside of the box. But what I decided to do is do a review of the two of them together. So it's going to be a joint review of both kits. So I just wanted to do the unboxing separately just so you guys can see what comes in each box separately. And then we'll kind of just go through the reviews for those as one big review for both of them together. It just kind of seems to make sense because they're very similar. So as always, some beautiful box art here on the front. Really nice illustration there. You have that nice matte black with the gloss for all of the everything else that's not black. Some cool information down here at the bottom. Lancer based defense type equipped with a long lance that far exceeds the height of Megami unit. Yeah, that's an understatement. A Lancer is specialized for melee combat due to its extreme size. The lance can be difficult to handle, but the weapon's extensive reach makes it perfect for taking out multiple enemies at once. Lancer's large shield acts as a counterweight for the lance and provides the unit with defense that keeps the enemies at bay. The unit also comes with a fork and spoon that can be used as close range weapons. Huh? Alright, well I guess the launcher did come with a set of butter knives. So, okay. Uh, anyway, around here on the side, it's gonna be kind of the same thing there. You have a different look at the shield. I like how with the launcher, the water sides were gold, and this time, and this time it looks like the water, they're going to be silver. So not only is the color scheme like entirely switched, but also the water sides from gold to silver for this one. So that's gonna be kind of cool. We'll see those in a moment. So here you can see a couple of poses and shots there of the painted sample build there. Of course, going to be looking very similar to the launcher. A lot of the parts are going to be pretty much the same, it looks like, for a lot of this. Even the, the weapon itself, like the whole body is all the same. I think it's just this, this front part, basically, is the only thing that's different, really, for that. Like with the launcher, it has a mode where you can ride on it as well. You can, of course, swap that. You don't have to have which uh, the lance in the left hand, the shield in the right. You can swap it up however you want to do that. Again, here is the less armored version, you can see there, and then, yeah, again with its spoon and fork, and then how it's going to look just straight out of the box without any pen lining or painting or decals or anything done to it. There's how it's going to look. Still going to look very nice, but of course it looks much better when you go through, do the work, and make it all look nice and fancy. Over here on the other side, here's a look at our face options as well as the water slides for this. So again, nice big water slide, water slide decal sheet with a bunch of stuff in red, silver, and a couple little orange ones there it looks like. We'll see that in a moment. And the face options, some nice face options for this. You have uh, smiling with the tongue out, uh, just uh, smiling normally, and an uh, excited face. So there you go. I like the face and hair options for this kit, they're pretty nice. And then the list price for this is 6400 yen, so it's going to be a little bit pricey. But you can get this and everything else on USA Gundam Store with 10% off using my coupon code there, ZakuRelius10, so check them out. As always, big thank you to USA Gundam Store for sponsoring this review. The link to their site and the coupon code is all down in the video description, so check that out. Guys, they do have an ever-growing supply of Kotobukiya stuff, so if you're interested in checking out some of this stuff, then check out their site there. So. Of course, we've just got a bunch of stuff here. I like that the white is the kind of off-white, kind of clear. It's not just straight up white, that's always nice. And there's the pink hair, of course. There's our face option, so we'll take a look at all of this stuff in a moment. Let's just get down here first. So once again, here is that sheet of water slides. Now that you can see it much better, you can see that silver looking very nice. Some water slides there for the eyes in case you wanted to change those up. Otherwise, you just have the 11 Roman numeral there. I guess the other one must have had X. I don't remember offhand, but I would assume so. The launcher must have had just an X. This one's got the X1 being that it's number 11 in the line. So just some cool markings for that. And the red is kind of like, it's almost slightly pinkish. It's not a really super red. It's got, it's, it's like a borderline pink the color of that. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that super well, but let's get a look at the manual here. So kind of interesting manual for this. Here's the, the front of the manual. There's just the 11. You can see just the lance there. The body is over here around on the back of the manual. So that's kind of different. Anyway, opening it up, we've got a whole bunch of reference photos here. 
so that's good for checking out some different posing options for this. You can see it's got a lot of different options in here, of course. And then skipping back to the back page here is going to be the color guide there at the top and then decal guide. You can see where to stick all the different decals around on this front, back, sides, on the weapons and all of that is all laid out here. Everything in between is just parts list and construction. So our parts list here with the grayed out bits being parts that we won't be using for this kit. So you can see uh, pretty much as usual for all of these kits, you always have a handful of parts that are left over and other option parts and things you won't use. But anyway, it goes all through the construction. Basically you build up the main uh, plane body first without all of the armor and everything on it first. And then you have to take that apart and then go ahead and add in all the armor bits and everything. So it goes through all of that and then how to build the weapons and how to mount the weapons and how to do other different customizing options there for that is all laid out here in the manual. But let's get a look at the runners. All right, so first step, like with the launcher, we've got this set of nice, thick, very strong wires here that go out the back of her head. And speaking of head, once again, here's a look at the different face options. As always, some beautiful pre-painting here from Kotobukiya. The faces look fantastic. For hand options, we've got closed fists, open expressive hands, holding hands, open resting hands like that, some trigger finger hands with a trigger finger to extend it, then a set of holding hands with a fixed joint wrist, and then a set of trigger finger hands with the fixed joint wrist. We've got an extra base piece here which will be used for helping to support the weapon. Then runner A here, as you can see, it is marked Bullet Knights. This is just a couple of flesh stone parts here. Runner B, a couple of parts for the torso in that nice off-white. Runner C, some more parts for the main body here in off-white. And then runner D, the rest of our flesh tone parts here for the arms and legs and neck. Runner E is some joint parts here we have in this very dark navy color, and we've got two of this E runner. Runner F is the base pieces here in that clear black, and you can see it's got that really cool like uh, matte finish here for the main part of the base where the Megami device logo there in the center is glossy like that. Very cool. We've got two of these. Runner G2 is going to be one more flesh tone part here for cleavage. Runner H is going to be some gold parts for the gold rings for the arms and the legs. Runner H2 in pink is obviously all the parts for the hair. Runner I is some more of that really dark navy, almost black color here for some more parts for the arms and legs. Runner J is basically just the parts for the thighs there in off-white. And then runner K is getting a little bit more interesting here. You can see the big giant shield part on there as well as some of the armor parts here in more off-white. Runner L2, more off-white armor parts. Runner M, once again, that really dark navy, almost black color here for a bunch more parts for the body as well as a couple of larger parts there for the weapon. Runner N2 here going to be parts specific for the lancer unit. You can see the fork and knife also there over on the side, or the spoon and knife, I should say. Spoon and fork, sorry. Runner O is a few more parts here in that molded gold. Runner Q, a few more parts in that off-white. Runner R in just kind of a straight up purple color here, basically just a bunch of joint parts for the backpack or connecting the stuff onto the back of the Megami device. And then Runner S, some more of that here in purple, just some more connector parts for the backpack for mounting the equipment. Runner S2, one little part there. Runner U, like with the launcher, is in that really strange color of plastic. It's like a sort of translucent pink color and it's kind of gross looking, but on the finished kit it looks much better. Runner V is a couple more weapons parts here in off-white, and then finally Runner Z for some more joint parts for it. So as usual, we've just got a huge mass of runners, a ton of parts for this, but honestly I find that these kits actually go together relatively quickly considering the amount of parts and like kind of how intricate they are. Uh, they, the construction of them does kind of go along relatively quickly, I've found. Considering the amount of parts and just kind of how intricate they are, it's, it's just, it's always kind of surprising to me how I find that they just, they go together pretty quick. But uh, they're a lot of fun to build, and if you've never built them, I definitely recommend checking some out. They can be expensive, but it's worth the experience, and uh, you just have to be careful, because <laughs> what tends to be the case is after you buy one, then you end up wanting to buy more and more, and yeah, they can be pricey. But just use that coupon code ZAKORELIUS10 over there on USA Gundam Store and save a little bit on them. Help keep that cost at a minimum there for you guys. So thank you to them for their support. Thank you to you guys for watching. If you have further questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. I'll see you in the review. Like I said, we'll be a review of the launcher and the Lancer together. So if you have questions regarding the kits, uh, do ask and I'll try to address those in the review. So I'll see you soon, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.